Going back to school is always challenging. Now, there are more options for parents, teachers, and students than ever before around distance learning, homeschool, and more. Regardless, Notion can be a helpful tool for all of these folks to organize schoolwork and power up learning. Think of us as a dynamic notebook, where you can stay on top of things with classwork, extracurricular projects, and all the other bits and bobs of college housing and budget. We're here to help you bring order to the chaos that is student life, while also being a resource for parents and teachers. And if you're a college student or educator, you can use Notion for free. This video will show you how to upgrade our personal pro plan using your student or educator email address. Then, I will build this workspace from scratch and explain how you can easily store and organize content the way that suits you best. Lastly, you'll see how we can use Notion to collaborate on projects with other students. New to Notion? Go to our sign-up page and create a Notion account using your student email. If you're already using Notion with your personal email, such as Gmail or Outlook, go to Settings and Members in your sidebar, then My Account, and Change Email. Then you can follow the steps to change your email to your school email. Now that your Notion account is linked to your school email account, you may see this message appear at the bottom of your sidebar. If so, click on it, and if your school is recognized by our system, you'll be upgraded automatically and you're good to go. If you do not see this message, click on Settings and Members again, and navigate to the Upgrade tab. Scroll down until you see a button that says Get Free Education Plan, and you should be able to upgrade that way. As you can see, Notion just upgraded this account to a personal pro plan, free of charge. With this upgraded plan, you're now able to upload files larger than 5 megabytes such as videos or heavy PDFs. Plus, you may access earlier versions of your pages that are up to 30 days old, and share your pages with an unlimited number of guests. More on this later. Finally, you can enjoy unlimited storage. In other words, Add as much content as you like without having to worry about hitting a storage limit. Now we can create a student workspace from scratch. If you click on templates at the bottom of the sidebar, you'll see a list of ready-made pages that you can use to get a head start. Go to the education section to browse through our school theme templates. And if you like one, hit use this template. This class notes template allows you to store all your notes in one place and quickly find them later for review or edits. This table can save you from the hassle of having notes dispersed through multiple text documents in your computer. In class, just click on the blue new button at the top right of the table and start typing your notes directly into this page. Then use properties at the top of the page to keep track of where these notes are from. Here you can select the class name, class type, and perhaps even add class materials. After class, you can always go back to these notes and use content blocks like headings, dividers, and quotes to make them more digestible. And easily store many types of content, from regular text and images, to videos and PDFs, or even embeds from Google Drive, Loom, and just about any other app. When it's time to study, you can use this column in your table to make sure you've reviewed everything. Let's click on the View menu at the top left of the database you'll see options to view the information in your table in different ways. We added these views to the class notes template to show you how you can decide to see your content. For example, this is what we call a board view. Here, your entries appear as columns, and each column corresponds to a different class. If you click on the group by option, you'll also see that you can group your entries according to the class type. Say you only want to see your class notes for lit 455 you can create a new table view and apply a filter to it, specifying that all you want to see is entries where class is lit 455. For more information on database views, you can watch this video all about creating and using views. If you stumble upon content you find interesting, it can be really useful to have a neat table to store it into. That's exactly what this template does for you. It allows you to keep track of content you've read, watched, or listened to, and what remains to review. You can also use Web Clipper to collect great content as you browse the web or do research. We know how chaotic thesis writing can get, so we created a template to help you organize your content as you write it. Store all elements of your thesis in this table, from ideation and proposal to research and chapter drafts.
In the table here, each row can be open as its own page where you can include all the information you want, from text and images to web bookmarks and Google Map embeds. There's even a dedicated section to your research sources and notes, where you can add sources one by one and add notes about each source inside every page. Later, when you start drafting a chapter, you'll be able to connect it to its corresponding sources and notes. Applying for jobs or internships? Try filling out this template. That way, you can always know the status of any application, which materials you still need to turn in, due dates, and whatever additional information you care to include. Also, see how there's another page inside this page? This is something you can do with Notion. Nest pages within pages within pages. In this subpage, you can storage a draft of your resume. Finally, this page can help you build a personal contact list of the people you meet during your time in college. You can even set timely reminders to reach out to them. As you can see here, we added a status column with the following formula. If more than three months have passed since the last time you contacted the person, you'll see time to reach out appear next to their name. If less than three months have passed, you'll see a thumbs up. If you're an educator, you can find a number of templates for teachers in our template gallery. This is what your student workspace could look like. Finally, note that you can access all the pages you added by simply clicking on their names in the sidebar. If you wish to use Notion for teamwork, you can do that too. While you will need a team plan to share your entire workspace with teammates, you can still share any page in your workspace with an unlimited number of guests with your student plan. Picture having a club homepage that you would like to share with all members of your organization. Click on the Share button at the top right of the screen, then hit the Add People button. Type or paste the emails and choose the access level, from Can View to Full Access. Click on it and then click on Invite. Nice! As you can see here, Claude Monet can edit this page but not share it with others. This is what the page would look like from his workspace. That's all for now. This was Notion for you in a nutshell. We hope to help you learn and accomplish many things during your time as a student, and we sure wish you the best in this wholesome adventure. And if you want to see more of the cool things you can do with Notion, you can check out our YouTube playlists for educational videos like this one.